Andrea, it's always nice to come to these conferences and hear the presentations. And, you know, when it's ASRM, I know the year is starting to come to an end. So as you think about 2015, what strikes you as being the hot, important topics that were talked about most this year? I think it's still PGS. PGS is very uh, important for a center and probably for patient because uh, it's, it's helped you in, uh, in just uh, avoid to, to perform transfer and for the patient to, to expect result uh, uh, when they cannot expect result. So just because the, all the psychological problem, all the uh, emotional uh, that the patient, the couple has during the IVF are very important. And uh, it's probably the, the most important problem for a dropout. I think that when you, you are able to transfer the, the best embryo that you can have, of course, we, don't, we know that we don't have all the embryos that can implant, but at least you, you make a, a good selection. That's really still the most important thing. After that, of course, is uh, s finished the, the time where uh, most of my colleagues uh, uh, demand for uh, uh, low uh, stimulation, uh, uh, natural, natural cycle, all the stuff. But we know now that to, to, to get the best result, you need to uh, have uh, at least 15 eggs and uh, and also uh, it's more over and over and more and more uh, accepted the, the idea that you you have to calculate the cumulative pregnancy rate and so to to let the patient uh, know that uh, having uh, a good number of eggs uh, is not uh, a, a bad condition health but is uh, is uh, important for, for them for their result. So it sounds like what struck you this year was personalization, personalized medicine, understanding the patient, and personalized embryo, so understanding the embryo as well. Yeah, uh, of course. Uh, I think that the, the higher number of uh, uh, study and, uh, and project uh, uh, around the world is uh, trying to understand uh, which is which is the the trick to to get the the right embryo and to transfer only the right embryo of course uh, is not something that we can do now but uh, we hope that the the study will be able to to show us which is the best embryo we we actually are performing uh, a study on uh, a selection by for the embryo using uh, the, um, the granulosa cells. That was one, we, we won one grant from GFI. So, and uh, of course, everybody is trying to understand which is the, the embryo that you, you have to transfer. So pick the right embryo, understand the maternal environment so you get the best outcome. Yeah. Seems to make sense. That, that should be the future. And on that note, let me ask you, as we look towards 2016 and beyond, what do you expect to see and what do you hope to see to make your job easier and better? I think that the, the, the lab can, uh, can grow the, the quality of the, the lab, the quality of the, uh, all the technical equipment, uh, the culture media can give us a better and better uh, result uh, and probably I hope that in two to three years we have the, the best culture media, so culture system that, that we know because probably it's still uh, a, a problem. Uh, there, are, uh, there is a lot of debate uh, uh, around uh, the fact that the culture to blastocyst is not so healthy or uh, secure for, uh, for the embryo. So probably we have to, to understand if it's right or not, the stuff. But for sure, what we want to have is uh, uh, more good embryos that are able to implant. Because at the moment, if, if you get uh, a, a young patient, 
and you transfer uh, one blast assist and also you do PGS on that you get no more than 60% of those uh, blast assists that uh, are going to implant so that can be also some problem from uh, from the culture system I think. Sure I, I saw an interesting presentation on uh, comparing different culture systems at Eshray. it was really interesting there. Yeah. Um, so looking back now, uh, from when you started in this field till now, it's tremendously different. Yeah, I started to perform a transfer with five embryos on day two, of course. So I'm, I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> you see here. It's, uh, oh, 20, 20 plus years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I remember. So I was already uh, big enough to <laughs> to come here. So, but it is it, it's so impressive to see where the field has gone from implanting five and hoping for success to implanting just the right one. So it, it's yeah. nice to see. Yeah, of course, the result is a baby that is is living has no problem, and uh, with the parents that are happy because sometimes. Uh, when you get two or three babies, you are happy because you you are parent, but the life is is tough. To sure, it adds the stresses. Yeah, a lot of stresses. But we'll end this on a good note. Thank you so much for Thank chatting, you. and Thank let's you. see if we're sitting here in a year I if we see. were right. Okay, okay. Grazie mille. Thank you. Thank you so much.